um, this is a uh, me finishing off my uh, other uh, part of the video, but because I got caught off talking, uh, cut off talking about the Venus Project. Excuse me. And uh, um, I did a reply to the video for uh, Psychology Across Cultures by Ethan Waters or Waiters. And uh, the other video I did was really good, but I, I did the whole video with the damn sound turned off. So guess what? All you get, <laughs> if I was to put it up, you just see me going. That's all you would see, so. Anyway, um, the Venus Project type, a Venus Project type society would revolutionize this world. It would. Um, and, uh, uh, I want to look at, I want to talk about science here, because I can only remember certain things of my last video, because it, man, it was good. I just wish I wouldn't have got to turn the frickin' sound back on. Man. But anyway, but, um, Imagine, you know, science, okay? Science today is abused. Like all of us, like all of us, most people I know and grew up with were abused. And everybody's really abused, okay? And um, we're the abused children of the planet. And science is the abused children of the planet. Or, yeah, child of the planet. And, um... So science is scary to people. It, you know, you think it's like a, uh, you know, some short guy that has balding hair that sticks out to here, and he has uh, pens and pencils and uh, rulers and protractors in his pocket, and it's a white coat, you know, he's wearing, and he has black shoes, and you know, one of these uh, some black dress pants or whatever, and small glasses, and you know, saying things like, uh, "This is science. It's evil." <laughs> you go work in section A, and you and B. <laughs> Stupid people, they don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, or something like that. And that's not science. Science is everything. Science gave us everything that has ever benefited mankind. That's science. That's what it's done. And if we were to actually able to be able to really, really use science even if a person like Jacques Fresco never even existed Roxanne Meadows, Peter Joseph it, it wouldn't matter if we were able to use science to its fullest extent we would figure out that we need a, t a type of society like the Venus Project it would, we would figure it out eventually, it's, this is going to happen you know and um, and we have, we have so many things though that hold us back today and and like I said, media, big government, corporations, they, they just look at us and they see dollar signs. They don't want us to learn things that are that are relevant that can actually help us because then they know that that will, then they know that we can eliminate uh, money and then they don't have any power anymore. But if they had a relevant education too and understood themselves a little bit more in the planet, then they would know that we don't need money and that our survival depends on each other and this planet and protecting each other and this planet. I mean, we, you know, this is our home. It's not just the home you live in that's your home, but it's this planet that is your home. And we don't even have the freedom to really go out there and explore. You got to get all, to go to this country, you got to get passports, you got to have this much money ridiculous you have to have so many things just to be able to do what nature wants you to do without boundaries and I just don't know I mean I just wish I could help more I wish I had a trillion dollars to give to the Venus Project I wish I, I would I would give it all every bit of it matter of fact I'm working on a song and I'm trying to, um, I've wrote one song already, but I haven't put it on here because I'm afraid somebody will steal it. You know, and I know I did a cover song on my, what I'm on my page here. That's a Bush Come Down, it's a cover. And I wouldn't mind if somebody took it and did a cover, you know what I mean? But I'm trying to get the song out there because my situation is not good. I need money. 
don't we all? But uh, I just want to live a modest but modern lifestyle, you know. And I think I've been like I've been playing guitar and singing on and off since I was five, five years old. I've been singing, play, uh, been singing since I was five years old, on and off, and playing guitar since I was thirteen, on and off. And I always wanted to be a ba in a band, but I really never wanted to be famous, you know. And uh, but the reason I sang on and off was because you may have heard something called diet soda. Well, that's what caused me to be labeled LD, put in LD classes, and caused me to not be able to comprehend the things I learned fast enough. And it caused me to be very, you know, like, like I wasn't, you know, not as flexible to the fat on my body. It caused it to be really hard, you know, and it caused me to be depressed, but also at the same time, the abuse and things that I went through as a child made that happen too, you know. Um, um, but also, um, um, it, it just kept me being unmotivated. I, I got frustrated really easy, got angry really easily, and I just gave up on things. And now that I've got the diet, pot, the diet uh, soda out of my uh, system, and I don't consume as much sugar at all, and I watch what I eat and make sure it's not got a lot of sugar in it, things have been better, you know. And I don't watch TV anymore because literally if you watch too much TV, you will turn into a zombie minus eating brains and flesh and bone and blood, you know, and skin and all that. <laughs> but, it, you know, it takes up a lot of time, and it can be very addictive, you know. Even using your cell phone can be very addictive, even. Anything can be very addictive, you know. You know, sex can be very addictive. Although good, and I prefer it, it can still be pretty addictive. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm trying to think. And I remember, I, I want to talk about something, you know, because something I experienced when I was a kid, uh, I'll give you a little bit of it. You know, and, and see, religion is another thing that hold, holds us back. But I, I love everyone, you know. I love religious people. I love all people, plants, animals, trees, water. I love everything. I, I respect everything so much. And uh, when I was a child, seven years old, I was at a church with my mom. And the preacher, he was preaching about Adam and Eve and the snake and an apple and a tree and the Garden of Eden. And he was getting angry about it. He was all sweaty and crying even. And he was stomping real hard on the ground, smacking his hand on the podium, I think. Is that what it is? Yeah. And you're looking at me the whole time and telling me that, you know, if I didn't confess my sins, I would die and go to hell for all of eternity. And I'm seven years old. And I was scared and crying, you know. And I hid it from my mom because I didn't want her to know, you know. Because I didn't know how she would react, you know. I <laughs> and... um. What was I saying? I looked around, and as he was talking about all these things in the Bible, people believed him. They looked at him almost as if he was the God that he was speaking of. And to me, from hearing and looking at people, or from hearing what he was saying, I just thought it was a fairy tale. I actually thought it was just a story, like the Three Little Pigs or Little Red Riding Hood or something. And ever since then... It has to be that day. It has to be the day that I have known that there's something wrong with this place. I didn't understand that it's a cultural programming at that time, but I just knew that something's not right. And, yeah, it's just everybody, it's like they were zombies looking up to this guy or something. They believed every word. They hung on every word he said, you know. But the good things about religion is connection connecting with each other you know like i went to a church that uh, another church at another time where they had dinner they had breakfast lunch and or breakfast and lunch there yeah and we were all talking with each other sharing food i couldn't bring any food they didn't care they put me a big plate of food down collard greens macaroni cheese mashed potatoes and gravy biscuits cornbread chicken ribs uh sweet potato pie a green apple pie. Have you ever had that? You need to try it. It's good. I heard most people have green apple, or excuse me, sweet potato pie, but I've never heard anybody having green apple pie. Or, excuse me, green tomato pie. But green tomato 